Hello, my name is Tom Johnson. For those that don't know me, I'm the Executive Director here at Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. I wanted to take a moment to explain to you what's going on at Magnolia right at this moment. Just like many places in America right now, we're on shutdown because of the coronavirus. We have our emergency crews that are in here getting everything ready for the time in the future that we'll be able to open up. They're painting fixing anything that needs fixing. They are planting flowers, getting new beds, getting us ready for the time that we open back up and we can invite you back to America's oldest garden. In the meantime, we've set a few things up and I wanted to talk to you about them. I have asked Caroline, our historian, to go through the archives to pull up quotes, pictures of past crisis throughout Magnolia's 300 year history. You know, Civil War, hurricanes, reconstruction, fires, earthquakes, the Civil Rights Movement. I want to put up quotes from the people that saw us through those crises that we can draw inspiration and hope for the future from learning from what they had to go through. Second, this crisis is going to be over one day. It's going to be important for our country to get back to some sense of normalcy. So I've asked our PR staff to come up with a series of events once we do open back up. The most important of which will be special events for our first responders, doctors, nurses, firemen, policemen, those that have helped us through this crisis, the ones that have put their lives on the line and risked their families' health and lives to help us with this. It's important that we recognize them. So stay attuned to our Facebook page for those type of events. As you know, throughout the year, Magnolia does a lot of special events to help things in our community, uh, such as our food drive for the Low Country Food Bank, uh, flood drive for the American Red Cross to help some of our shelters when the animals are over when they're overwhelmed with animals. What I'd like to do is pull all of these together when we opened up and have one big event throughout the first two months that we can help all of these groups as we move forward to help them move forward too. These are times that were uncertain for all of us, but what we're doing here at America's Oldest Garden is looking forward to the future. When you've been through crisis for 300 years, you have a different way of looking at things, and you look at a point past this to the future. It is my hope that we can all move into that together. Thank you.